You know it's bad when you have the Target app on your phone. Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here. We're back in the bedroom. I just did a different video in here and honestly it just feels so cozy and it's kind of been cloudy for a week so this is where we're at. Plus I have some really cool home stuff that I wanna show you in this video. We are doing a little Target haul. I got some clothes, some loungewear, some hair care, body care, some skincare, some home stuff. We've got a lot of stuff to go through and I'm really excited to show to you. I haven't done a good Target haul in a really long time, so please let me know down below if you like Target videos. They're some of my favorite to watch just because, to be honest, when I'm bored, I usually just go on the Target app and scroll through the What's New section and see what everybody is wearing because I have so little things to do these days. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. We talk about more than just Target on this channel. We talk a lot about skincare, makeup, mental health. We do vlogs, and I would love to have you join. Let's start off with what is most important. SOS, there is a new Stars Above pajama set, and it's such a cute color. I know y'all already know about Stars Above, like everybody knows about Stars Above, but if you don't, this is a super inexpensive pajama brand that's been at Target for maybe one or two years, and it is the softest, most luxurious pajama like material that I've ever tried, and they have a shit ton of options for pajamas. So this is the one that I picked up, although I have a couple other sets of theirs, and I'll talk about those in a minute, but they usually don't do their sets um, in colors. They usually just have them in black or navy. So this is the top, and it comes with a little pair of shorts. I got mine in a size small, and I, you know, I think they fit pretty well. The only thing that I don't love about them is that the shorts really they ride up, if you know what I mean, while you're sleeping, and sometimes the top, like, you know, something might pop out in the night. But that's only because they're really soft and stretchy, so they are very comfortable to sleep in. Just be aware that when you stand up after a full night's rest, you may be askew, if you will. The only other problem I have with them also is that the crotch area of the pants end up sagging over time, and I've, I've had to throw away like one or two of them after wearing them for like a year, which is not a big deal because these sets are like $20, so. It's honestly worth it in the end. This is a new color that they came out with. I'll link this one down below. It sells out like every five minutes, but they do restock a lot. Highly recommend Stars Above. I have so many pairs of their pajamas. I have dresses, I have the sets, I have the tank top set. They have some little silky sexy numbers as well. I just, I love the brand, love everything from them. The second most important thing that I wanna talk about in this video are these tank tops from A New Day. I got the green, olive green tank top last summer, and if you've been here for a long time, you'll know this tank top from the very first YouTube video I ever uploaded. <laughs> I wore this, and it's people have been asking me about it since then, basically. So these are from A New Day. I wear them in a small, but if I have to squeeze into an extra small, I will. This one is an extra small, and it is a little bit tight around the titas, but I have a very small bust, so it works. Um, the only problem is that the seam at the bottom of the shirts end up running a little bit tight if you if you go down a size, but it doesn't bother me because I don't wear these tops uh, with low-rise jeans. I wear them with high-rise pants because I will never wear low-rise jeans again. So these are just super in style, and my favorite thing about them, besides the fact that they're $8, is that you can wear really nice, really chunky, layered necklaces on top of your shirt, and it looks so classy and elegant, and you can really layer it up with your jewelry and make the top itself look a little bit nicer, especially if you pair it with some dark jeans. They're just so versatile, but also can be worn as like loungewear around the house. So I got uh, the gray color this, this trip as well as the black. So now I have black, gray, this olive green color, and just a white. And um, those are my staples. I wear these constantly. They're super thick, easy to wash. And I just think that this neckline is really flattering and that it's also very in style right now. So I definitely recommend picking a few of these up in your normal size, um, but they can stretch a lot if you don't have your size in stock and you need to size down. Honestly, I'd say do it because for the price and the quality, it's worth a little stretch. I haven't really spent the money or time on nicer clothes, you know, obviously for at least the past year. I haven't had anywhere nice to go, but you know, as we start thinking about 
and dreaming about what life might be like in maybe six months or a year, I'm starting to pick up some things and I picked up three tops that are very Bridgerton vibes, which is funny because I actually didn't like the show. Let me know if you guys watched it. I don't know, something about it to me was like, I mean, besides the you know what, it was just, I didn't like Daphne, she bothered me. It wasn't for me, however, I really did like the fashion on the show. So first I got this top from Wild Fable. This is in a size small and I saw it on a plus size model on the website and she looked so good. I'll, I'll pop the picture in here and uh, I just had to pick it up. So basically this top is ruched in the back so it's super super stretchy and you can also take these sleeves down to be a like you know strapless number and wear it like this or you can wear it with these kind of bell sleeves these puff sleeves up and um, it does have a little bit of a high cut so if you have um, large breasts you might like this because it'll keep them nice and tucked in and I think it came in a few colors but I thought it's cropped I love black this could be cute as like a night out my husband and I are going to a museum for Valentine's Day because I got us tickets to see a Picasso exhibit here in Nashville so I was thinking I could wear this it's $15 you really can't go wrong and I feel like this style of top is really in right now that is also why I bought two of the same top here in different colors. These are definitely Daphne Bridgerton vibes. I actually did wear this one out to dinner, but I didn't get any pictures in it. They are very cropped, so you are gonna wanna wear a high-waisted pant with it. And if you have a large bust, there is a tie here, so cleavage is a TBD, but it does have this nice ruching here and in the back for stretch so that you don't feel like you're being sucked in all the time. And then again, it has that bell sleeve with the, you know, the ruching at the bottom so that it has that nice shape to it and it is long sleeve. I just felt it was, I don't know, really classy and cute. And I liked it so much that I bought it in the blue as well. So I just thought this was really summery, would look good with a pair of black pants and, and could be worn in the spring, fall and winter. So I really, really like these. They were super cute and also inexpensive from a new day, $20. And this also comes in black if you're more of just like a plain colored girl and don't like these patterns. But if you're wanting to be like cute Bridgerton vibes for 20 bucks, I will link these down below. All right, let's talk about some body and hair care. I'm still on the hunt for the best body wash. And it's kind of confusing because I just uploaded a video telling you guys I have eczema. I've had eczema my whole life, but I have it under control right now. And when it's under control, I can kind of use whatever body wash I want because it's not really flaring at the moment. When it is flaring, I use the CeraVe eczema body wash. But when it's not, I like something that smells good and it's moisturizing. And I liked the Olay moisture ribbon uh, Manuka Honey Body Wash. I'll put a picture up of it in here. It was my favorite for a really long time because the scent stays on your skin, but I didn't feel like it was really cleaning my pits and my areas, if you will. So I started using the Method Body Wash and I have tried the Peace and Peony and I have tried the Rice Milk one. And I liked both of them, didn't love them. So I'm trying another one. And this is the Method Body Stay Hydrated Body Wash. And I picked this one up just because in the winter, you know, we all want some hydrated skin. The problem is that it didn't say what the scent was on the packaging or anywhere online. And I don't love it. I mean, I'm definitely gonna use it up. It's just flowery, flowery and fresh, which is fine. But for some reason, I prefer a more savory, luxurious wash experience. Something that's a little bit sweeter and a little bit more, I don't know, spicy. Um, but it's not bad. The Method Body Washes though, they do work very well in terms of actually feeling clean. The scent doesn't super linger on your skin either. So if you don't like that, you will like these. And they're pretty inexpensive. I do like them. I think I'm gonna probably keep trying this brand to find the one that I really, really love. But if you have one in mind, let me know. I know Coffee Break with Danny went through like a literal whole series of trying to find the best body washes. And I went through that and she picked the Method one. So I was like, okay, this may be the best and I just need to realize that and move on. Another dry skin product that I am freaking obsessed with is this Neutrogena hand cream, Norwegian formula, fragrance free hand cream. This is a super unique product. I wouldn't even say that it's a hand cream. I would say it's like an emollient, 
I don't want to say it's like an ointment or, but it kind of is. If you think about the CeraVe healing ointment or the Vanaply ointment, which I've talked about a million times on my channel, it's very similar to that. And I'll show you guys. It's just super innovative. This was made for Norwegian fishermen because their hands and their elbows and their lips and their faces were so dry. And it claims that there is 200 uses in one bottle. This was $3.99. So it's absolutely worth your, your money. The fact that it's fragrance free and also that it sinks into the skin really, really well. So it's not like a lotion consistency. It is, it's an ointment, but it does sink in really, really well. And I have been dealing with horrible dry knuckles from washing my hands so much. I will say I don't think there's 200 uses in this for me just because I like to be fully kind of soaked in my lotions, but in under five minutes, it sinks fully into your skin and it doesn't kind of linger with your rings or if you're using your phone, which I really hate. I have absolutely love this. I also use it on my elbows or my lips whenever I'm feeling super dry while I'm downstairs at my desk. And I think for $3.99, you really can't go wrong. It'd be good to have something like this to help protect your hands while we're washing them so much during this pandemic. I just posted on my community tab that I got a Dyson air wrap and that is how I did my hair today It is basically fallen at this point because it's windy outside and I went for a walk with my dog But my hair has gotten so much healthier from not using extreme heat on my hair And I plan on doing a couple videos on the air wrap in the future So stick around for that but I'm kind of on a hair journey and finding the right products because TikTok has really opened my eyes to realizing that a lot of drugstore shampoos and conditioners are not doing good things for my strands. I have very thin, long, straight hair. It gets very oily in the roots quickly. And so I'm trying to find the right regime for my hair type. I think I have found the right shampoo for me, which is the Kristen S gentle the one signature shampoo which i've talked about in a recent target haul and it's done really really well for me i add in a um, you know a clarifying shampoo like once a week with that and it helps get the gunk out of my my roots but my ends i feel like i haven't found the right conditioner that feels like it sticks with me but doesn't stay heavy after i've washed it out and so i am currently trying out the shea moisture manuka honey and yogurt hydrate and repair protein power treatment so when i picked this up i guess I didn't realize that this was a treatment and not a deep conditioner, but that's kind of what I use it as because it is so thick. She thick. She thicker than a snicker. This stuff feels like you're putting a bunch of yogurt in your hands, which is you know, some people might not like that. Super, super thick. And the instructions are to use it from roots to ends and leave on to 10 to 15 minutes. It also says you can use it as a pre-wash intensive treatment. So I am using this right now as my conditioner because I only wash my hair twice a week, but I kind of am thinking I might start uh, using it before I go in with my shampoo. I've, I'm still kind of getting used to the world of treatments, protein treatments, all of that, but so far so good. It makes my hair feel really bouncy and I feel like it's helped with my um, flyaways, which is something I've always had problems with. I think it's easy to overdo it with this. If you wash your hair too often, I would use this like once a week, once every two weeks if you're washing it a lot. But it is a really interesting product and I'm still on the lookout for a really good, solid, you know, conditioner that I can use twice a week that is going to help build up my hair and not leave it feeling that silicone-y, really waxy feeling just because my hair is very thin and fine and I feel like that kind of weighs it down. So. Let me know if you have a recommendation. Drugstore preferred, but I am willing to splurge if it's worth it. The rest of the things I wanna show you are actually behind me and in my bedroom, so I'm gonna switch to behind the camera to show you a few more things. So this quilt here is super nice, and it's really hard to find a quilt that fits a king size bed, so I definitely recommend it. However, if you have dogs, just know that if they are bed dogs, as you will, um, they're gonna find these little bits of the quilt to pull up and her nails have gotten in it a few times and like my ring has gotten caught in it a few times. Like you can see these little bits here. So just be aware of that because it is an expensive quilt, but it's really nice and thick. And to find a nice quilt with a lot of colors that fits a king bed is very rare. Okay, next, all of these pillows are from Target literally all of them. However, the lumbar and these two fluffy ones, I'm not certain if they're still on the site. I will look for them and link to them if I can find them. But what I wanted to show were these big, oh, my dog is crying because she wants to come up and rub up my quilt. These big pillows here that are three in the back, they fit a king bed three perfectly and you can 
karate chop them to look however you want. They stand up really nicely on their own and they are freaking huge. Also, they're so soft. I love soft pillows. I literally sleep with it underneath my normal pillow. And then this lumbar pillow is from the Hearth and Home, Hearth and Hand, you know, I can never say that, that brand. And it's pretty, I don't want to say it's like pretty shitty. I don't know. I, I like the color. It matches the room very well. Like it matches our vibe, but it has a hole in the bottom of it. It's just not... It's not perfect, but that's okay. It was pretty inexpensive. So anyways, those were the, the little bedding pieces that I've gotten recently that I wanted to share. And then also the same with this little basket here. This is crazy, but I have so much like loungewear and pajamas that don't fit in my drawers that I keep all of my pajamas in this little basket here basically because I can just pull them out at night whenever I want my loungewear pajamas. And this is my Barefoot Dreams um, cardigan thing that I got for Christmas. I had in a video if you are interested, but I keep it on top because I feel like it looks like it's full of blankets, but actually it's full of pajama bottoms. Um, but also got that during this little home haul. So I'll link that down below. Honestly, it's the pillows that make the bed for me because this bed is from Nectar. It's a recent purchase for us. We used to have a queen and now we have a king and it's a memory foam mattress and I am just not used to it at all and I've had such a hard time sleeping. So if you have any tips to get a memory foam mattress to get softer, let me know because someone told me to hit it with a baseball bat <laughs> and I don't have a baseball bat. So I've been stepping on it, but it's just been hard on my back and my husband loves it because he has a really bad back. So I'm trying to figure it out, but the pillows make the bed and it makes it look so full and nice and also this quilt is top notch again let me know if you like these target hauls or if you like hauls in general i'd be happy to do more for you guys on this channel i have so many exciting things coming up i'm really excited to make a few videos about makeup my favorite natural makeup products going into the spring season and i can't wait to see you guys really really soon bye